Okay. So. Yeah. Ready. <laughs> you are the queen of Vernaccia. What is Vernaccia? Why is Vernaccia so special? What makes it so particular to this space, this land of Tuscany? Okay. I mean, first of all, that is um, a wine. I mean, we are in a, in a land of, uh, of reds. So nobody expected that we have a great white um, in Tuscany, but we have. And the character, the main, I think that uh, it's, uh, it's the only grape that can stand like a queen behind, behind the, the, the big reds that we have in Tuscany. Because uh, the character or the, the, the personality of this grape uh, is unbelievable. He doesn't need to uh, surprise you with his nose. So is that something that you can discover while you are drinking? So this is uh, the main characteristic of this wine. Um, you know, it's easy to make a wine that, oh my gosh, this is a great, a great nose. But this is something that you can discover step by step while you have in the glass. So the first you think, oh, I'm curious. I want to taste it again. I want to smell it again. Drink the whole bottle. And then at the end, you drink all the oh, bottle. Jesus. Yeah, this is. And uh, then for me, working with these grapes means, uh, means so much. It's an honor. You know, it is uh, Ryan, uh, the more uh, ancient grape. Uh, and it was the first the OCG recognized in Italy. That means that it is uh, something that had an incredible fame in the past. So working with something that had a great history behind, it's, uh, it's something special. So we have to treat her, because for me, is uh, an incredible lady. Uh, it's an honor. And so many people seem to try to change Vernaccia for the market. They try to add Chardonnay or they try to add Valentino. Why do you keep everything 100 Cento per cento, mm. Vernaccia. Okay, first of all, uh, blend the Vernaccia with something different. It's something that the producer can do. So um, I think so that uh, many years ago, because it's a difficult grape to understand if you are, don't have a big culture of wine, um, it's, uh, it, was, uh, it was easier blending uh, with different grape uh, with these kinds of characteristics. So, uh, Aromatic a Chardonnay that can uh, can add something to this wine, but uh, I decide since I start to work with uh, to follow the other road that was try to respect exactly the land where I and the terroir where I grow this grape and try because I don't have so many actors so the the, the winery is quite big is. Uh, 200 yeah. actors in total, but just 24. Like 450 uh, acres. Or yes, so, right? exactly. But just 24, so 50 acres of uh, vines. And I have just uh, 10 acres of uh, Vernaccia. So I also, if I, if I bottle all of these are maximum 20,000 bottles. It's not a big amount of bottles to sell. So I don't have, uh, I don't feel pressure of the marketing of the market to make an easy product. So for me, it was like uh, uh, I play a little bit with this grape. So I decide to to see if I can try. Uh, you know, around this table, so many people came to try to educate the people to the real taste of the vernaccia. This is uh, what I think uh, it's. Uh, it's my role. Right. And, uh, the guardian of Vernaccia. Yeah. The Vernaccia queen. And I think that uh, we did a great job. The people lie, the people buy. We are always sold out. So that means something. That means that the people can appreciate this wine. It is my favorite thing on the planet. I can't tell that to the other producers I've worked with because I think I say that too often. But that's the reality. <laughs> it's, I, the Vernaccia is perfect for especially summer, right? Yeah. And current day climate change, how hot it is, the freshness of this wine is perfect, 
perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect. So do you think that's going to change the market for you? Uh, I think so that uh, it could, it can change a little bit, but we have to be really good to understand and work so with this climate changing. So, you know, I make a couple of them now. So the first one, the fresher one, it's, it's the easier one. I can try to uh, harvest earlier to try to maintain the main characteristic. But at the same time, I decide to work in a different way where I can, can um, use the biggest, the, the, the powerful of, uh, of the vernaccia with um, more mature, with um, um, more, al more sugar contents, so the Not biggest alcohol, alcohol contents, right. yeah, with the Donagina. So A little more complexity there. More complexity, yeah. exactly. So you have to try to um, understand and uh, interpretare, interpret, uh, interpret uh, the harvest uh, and the, the vintage. This is extremely important. So this is uh, the only way we have to survive as a producer in a world that for sure is uh, the climate is going to change. Mm -hmm. So this is what I think. Adaptation. You know. Mm. And that's really going to show who you are as a producer. Exactly. And then we are so lucky because we are higher, high, very you high. have a perfect microclimate. This wind, we have these winds like we have today, you know, quite every day during the summer, except if you, you, you try when we have 42 degrees in the, in the morning. 110 degrees at night, <laughs> sleeping on the floor like a dog. <laughs> There's but, no, that's that's true hell. Yeah, just a <laughs> couple of weeks uh, during your old summer, so you can afford. But it's still in the night. It's cool, so you have a the cooling influence cool. every day. And with this um, escursione termica, uh, I mean the difference between uh, the temperature in the night and during the day helps so mm -hmm. much um, the nose and the smell of this wine. Mm -hmm. You know, so especially of the white. You study a lot, so now yeah. you know that. Yeah. Now you can understand. I know too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Too much of my brain is melting some days. Now, you already talked about Don and Gina a little bit. Yeah. And the most important thing is the fact that you are a woman from Sicily. You came mm. here when you were 23 years old. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? 23? 23, yeah. Tell me about all of that. The story of how this place became, who is Don and Gina, mm -hmm. how is it to be a woman in the industry that's changed a lot and are continuing to change a lot for the future? Mm -hmm. What is that like? Because out of all the producers it's I've amazing, met, it's amazing. It's amazing. There's it was no one a, like you. I was. Um, I during I during the time I I work, I made experience. So I experience all the time my job, and this is was extremely important. But of course, when I start, there weren't so many women. Now it's trendy uh, seeing. Uh, ladies who managing a winery you know in Napa there are so many I every time I uh, there is someone sitting around this table and told me oh I have a friend uh, like you in Napa I have a friend like you in New Zealand so that means that now uh, around the world so there is so many but they w when they told me they told me like something special what I feel that this doesn't have to be Spatial, so we can we can uh, we can work as a man. I worked like a man, like a man. But for sure, when I start, uh, probably because I have a different background. So I tell you something about my story. I study law, so I came from completely a different world. I came, I grew up in a big city. Uh, so I think the biggest change for me was moving from a big city to a small village on the top of a hill, where the winter are so hard. Uh, there is, uh, the people in Tuscany are amazing, but at the same time, it's a little bit closed. Not so welcome as we are, but, you know, after years, uh, I became a part of this, uh, of this community. So my granddad bought this place, and uh, I was really connected with my granddad and with this place since I was a baby. So when he passed away, I decided to try to, to continue what he started. He didn't bottle his wine. I started to bottle my wines with my own label. 
and uh, that uh, makes my mom crazy. She didn't want. She said that I was young, I was a woman, and I couldn't uh, because it was. Remember that it was 27 years ago. I turned 50 this year. So yeah, the people that were working for my granddad and then for me joked me so much because I was a woman and because I was a young girl, and because the situation was you know a snobby girl so with a big estate, so it was like a, a hobby, a joke for me. And then they realized that it wasn't because I had tried to earn the respect working like them. Like when you cut your finger off? I cut my finger, but not at the beginning, uh, just a few years ago. Uh, yes, uh, while I was pruning, I cut completely my finger, but I was lucky, I still have it. But in that moment, they realized completely, I became like a little hero for them, <laughs> for like all these old people that uh, they were working for me. And um, yeah, what can I say? It's that uh, I had a dream and I'm, uh, I took so many years, but each deal I join, I join by myself, and I join with an incredible sacrifice. So it's not so easy, if, and you can't go straight. If you have maybe a big amount, a big, big, big amount of money, you can. If you are a found, a big found, maybe you can. But if not, you can. You can leave. That's what my dad teach me. You can. You can leave. Uh, Dignitosamente, with dignity, so nothing, I, I don't miss anything. But uh, of course, I couldn't uh, become, uh, you know, super rich. But it's not my deal. My deal is make a good wine that the people can appreciate. Because doing something with your hands that the people can buy, can enjoy in their table, just this concept makes me super happy. And then what uh, makes you super happy is that. The winery with me is still in my family. Uh, Andrea, my son, is now is by the sea. I saw him yeah, in the video. Yeah, loves fishing. He's in the video with me jumping around, slapping me, <laughs> okay. taking his pants off. Take your pants off. Davvero? <laughs> See, it's the only way you can get a microphone onto your mouth. Ah, sure. What do you have to do, right? No, put it through your sweater. <laughs> I can do it for you. You look good. You look, look good. Look at this. Uh, Andrea, you can... Ah, your boy. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> ah. It's amazing, isn't it? Technology. Hey, I'm an uh, agriculture man. <laughs> you're recording. I am the age of... He's the, a uh, farmer, no. I am the no, age AI. of the stone here, I mean. You're, you're much younger than me. That's I go to hunting for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll edit that part. I don't I'll, edit that, that. I'll edit that part out, but I'll edit him into this. He's in the video. I'm going to edit this entire thing into the video at some point. Okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. I say what you, you say want. What you, you say what you want. Bello. You don't say what I want. You say what you want. This is about Perfecto. you. This is about me. Andrea, it's, uh, he decided to, to work here, to manage the winery, and to continue the tradition. And this is so important for me, you know. Okay, Andrea, you study agriculture, correct? Sure, yeah. And you are the future of this winery. I hope that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope that too. I hope that too. Um, so I know that he can add something. Of course, he's young. He has to understand what does it mean sacrifice, because he sometimes there are so many tasting. Yes, of course. Luckily, we have people here. So, but I think so that's in few here. So when you will find a nice girl, so doesn't have to just go in you know run 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 back to them but just she can move here maybe the situation will become very 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 easy also for for them for me so that yeah, i don't have to think he must somewhere yeah i'm a classical italian mom yeah i'm a mom i know <laughs> not the big mom but uh, i'm a big it's more small mom, small mom. <laughs> Thank you for everything you always do for everyone. You are the true mom of, <laughs> not just Lugnano, you're the mom of San Gimignano. No, that's too much. No. I'm not, no, that's too much. You're the queen of San Gimignano. No, I'm not. Regina. No, I'm not. See. No, I'm not. I know there's a guy over here that works for you. She's the queen. The way that she walks through town in the dress billows down the street. 
everybody told and me everyone, that because usually like, I wear a big dress and I blow you. You can see her all the way. You, you, there's that long street in San Gimignano. She's coming like slow motion. Yeah. Just give me wine. I'm an actress. <laughs> I can be an actress. Drink so, wine. is it time for Ambarino? We are tired to taste Vernaccia and at the night we need a wine with an incredible acidity. It's nice. Like, I don't want to make too much promotion, but you know, when something is good, it's good. I didn't taste yet. I'm still, I'm still, I I'm a still couple. recovering from the. I finished a couple and you already. Okay, I'm going to have another glass. You know why? Because he knows that we are going to take another bottle. So he's very smart, the guys. He knows mm. how to. I have to drive tonight, but Laura is trying to keep me here. But there is, uh, okay, you have enough punishments, guys, One here, glass. so you can sleep, and uh, okay. if you are too drunk. This is, this is Laura. <laughs> well, thank you for everything you've done for me, and thank you for everything. Thank you for everything you did for me. We don't need, to put, we don't need to put this part in the video, I don't want to get emotional. No, you, we can. You had a great guy, you had a great guy, and oh, I know you. that so we will continue with that. Uh, to work together, I'm sure, and we will do great things. Excited. And this is something that we need. We need because, of, I mean, the last Anteprima, we had so many journalists and also lots of people who came here. What, what tell us, you remember? Not a lot of people knows this grape. Mm -hmm. And this is so strange because it's the more, it's the, it was the first with this little yeah. label on the neck. 1960s? So, now, I ask you to become an ambassador of this wine, of this grape for me. Ambassador in, of Vernaccia? Mm -mm, in the States. I think it's going to be pretty easy. East Coast. I think it's going to be pretty East easy. East Coast, then we can have every uh, time someone West drinks, Coast. <laughs> every time someone drinks Vernaccia, they are, it's just explosive. It's, it's hard to describe the sensation you get when you drink Vernaccia. Um, it's just that there's an old phrase that I read in a book from Dante's time. Mm. And it was the grape that stings and bites. Yeah. And it does. But then it finishes with happiness. And it's just, it's exactly it. And Vernaccia is something that's ready to explode. And luckily, I met yeah. you and I think you're the person to do it. Yeah. Maybe we'll do it together. Yeah. And with the guy over there in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. He's waiting for us uh, by the sea in the West Coast. In the West Coast. Oh, grazie mille. I finished. I, I have one sip left for a quick salute. Yeah. Uh, it counts. Salute. salute. You can have a little more wine. I'm always going to drink more wine, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> grazie. Grazie. Okay, now we can finish the tasting.